y'all doing? Yeah, how are you? I'm all right. What was your uh, initial reaction to Saturday's game down in Nashville? Um, I was currently in Nashville, um, just catching up with some of the family, and I was watching the game, dozed off a little bit, woke up, and there was a dog fight, so I was just how y'all was, shocked, locked in, watching a good game. You just run down the Broadway? Ah, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't the party type. Barry, have, have you, how many times have you just rewatched that play from the, from the Ole Miss game? Um, watched it a couple times, but, um, just like life. Next, next play, um, no, got to keep, got to keep best foot forward. Um, can't dwell on it too long. So you know, um, yeah, it was a great play, but um, I want to continue to make those type of plays and um, you know, just put in the past. How, how good does it feel though to to finally get one of those? It felt like you, you were close so many times so far, but hadn't gotten one of those big plays yet. Feel great. Couldn't even imagine, man. Great, great, great kick. As a player, seeing how, how many upsets there were over the weekend, I think like nine of the top twenty-five lost. Does that make it feel like it's wide open for you guys, like any given week? Yeah, and um, I kind of told the boys that like everything we want is still in front of us. Um, we just got to keep working hard and um, trusting the process, trusting the coaching, and um, just coming out here every day looking to be better and um, you know put the losses behind us and you know worry about the future. Yeah, Coach Stoop said after that game that maybe earlier in your career you wouldn't have bounced back from that. Mm -hmm. What has gone into that? Um, just maturity. Um, growing up. Knowing um, the next play can be the best play, so um, you know, sorry to the team that I got that flag, but um, you know, this next play mentality, keeping my head on um, right, you know, just going out there with the boys. Back to the play, I think Brock said that you were not the first option, but when he got to the line, he saw single coverage. Did you know it was going to be single coverage? I mean, what are you thinking when you're going to up the lineup and you see their coverage? Fourth and seven. I'm thinking oh, I need to make a play. Uh, I wanted this win bad. First round, I didn't get to um, get it. Um, came up, came up short. So all I was thinking, let's make a play. Let's let's get the team back going. Let's get the momentum again, and wish for the best. Is there any worry going through your mind that oh man, we got down to twenty again? But last time it didn't go so well when we got down here. Uh, nah, not so much worry. Um, you know, we've been out here months now, and um, I, I see where we've been, and see see the things we're doing, and see what the team could become. So it wasn't no no worry. It, it felt like we saw that ball thrown to you so many times last year mm -hmm. and it didn't always work out. So what was maybe different this time around that you've done to be able to execute those plays? Um, that's a good question. Um, honestly, just some things don't always work in our favor and, um, you know, can't dwell on stuff because it might not have been my, my fault. It might not have been quarterback. It might have been a great defensive call or whatever the case may be. So. Just coming out here every day, locked in, not knowing what play could be the play to um, win the game. So, you know, just trying. How many times do you think you and Brock practice that play? Y'all, was y'all at practice today? <laughs> y'all what? Dang, man, that's kind of every day with me and Brock. <laughs> How do you see Brock progress? Oh, man, Brock's always, I always say this is the first day I met him, man. I knew, I knew what he could be and I knew what he is. Um, Brock is just so calm and um, so poised, locked in, always locked in. Always seeing what we can do better, what I can do better, what he can do better. Always asking what's just a good guy to be around in the facility and see everything. What have you seen from the Vanderbilt defense? Man, they, they're great. I, I like the defense. Um, they have a great team. I like what they're doing this year. Is it weird, though, being, I mean, you grew up in Vandy football. Is it still weird seeing that unfold as a Nashville kid? Uh, yeah, I'm, that's pretty sure. I feel like that's everybody, though. Nobody you know, expected <laughs> that, so I feel like that's everybody a little bit. You guys got revenge on them last year, but you still remember that came two years ago. Of course. Came in here. Of weird, course. you know, snowing, a weird game. Yeah. Is that a, is that a little yeah. extra fuel for some of the guys that were on that team that are still on this team? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Got a little bad bad taste in my mouth still about losing at home, but, um, you know, got another opportunity. Did they need to beat Alabama to get – your attention or had they already yeah they i don't i don't look past nobody i don't we can be playing my high school and we'll, we'll prepare the same way <laughs> so um yeah never look past nobody in any, any moment stuff can go wrong so these are two teams though, that want to build on momentum mm -hmm. you both have a, a nice win coming in right to this one do you anticipate this be pretty intense yeah of course I, I want it to be i love it like that well, why do you think dane is having the year he's had oh he work, he work his tail off every day. Um, 
he's due for it, man. Dane's my guy. Um, I've seen it since freshman year, the things that he's been doing. So just all of seeing it work in his favor, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. How much confidence do you guys kind of stash in your back pocket after that almost win? No one is still, by the time the game was played, it'll be two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. but, so you guys still get confidence, you get a big win like that. But do you hold on to it? Do you? Uh, I say hold, hold on to it to a certain extent. Like, don't don't get the big head about it because any given week, we can be that team to fall if we're not prepared or we're not focused. So, yeah, it's pretty sure to have that. But um, like I be telling the boys, we got to stay locked in. Everything we want is right in front of us. We just got to keep grinding for it. Because you didn't have to, we have to worry about a quote let down loss because you didn't have a game right mm -hmm. after that. But So do you feel like that was a good opportunity to soak in that, you know, give two weeks after a huge win like that? Did that right. build confidence throughout the team? Um, of course. Um, and then extra week in the training room, film, out here, so um, it was it was good. I liked the bye week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.